Holiness is wholesomeness. It is to live a life of integrity. We must be sincere that we want to strive to grow in holiness. Without holiness, we cannot see with clarity what the Lord wants of us, what is His will, because we lack that integrity. And so, striving for holiness is an ongoing thing. Uh, there is no question of we are holy enough. In the fight against sin, we must always be fighting. We must always be on the watch. It is a struggle, certainly. And it's important to recognize that the struggle against sin is something that we have to undertake every day. We cannot let the guards down, in other words. In the fight against sin, we always have temptation, we will have obstacles, opposition, and we need to resist. Because the moment you let go, the moment you give up fighting against sin, sin will take over you completely. When we give up fighting against sin completely, the person is lost. Satan has won. So we must not allow Satan to win this game. We need to keep on fighting. Yes, sometimes we get hurt along the way, but never mind. We keep on fighting. Never give up. When we are down, we get ourselves up because we have to keep fighting. When we sinned, we will have to face the consequences because of our sin. And because of our sins too, uh, there are others who are innocent, especially our loved ones. They too will suffer the consequences. So sometimes sin will always cause pain, either to the sinner himself or to the sinner and those people who are hurt innocently. And so in the face of sin, uh, we should not treat it too lightly because otherwise uh, we become numb. On the other hand, we should not get too discouraged when we sin because discouragement will lead us to give up our struggles. Nobody grows in holiness overnight. We keep on struggling. At the end of the day, God doesn't even judge us by the progress we make in holiness, but by the struggles we put in. Because it depends on the situation. Because different people have different struggles. If you are born into a very broken, wounded family, the situation becomes even more difficult. So God doesn't judge us in terms of how we will measure a person. That is the worldly way. God will judge us how much struggle we put in. And even if you fail, the Lord understands. But that doesn't mean to say we'll be spared the consequences. We will still have to go through consequences. And hopefully through our failures, uh, we will be stronger more and more each day. At the end of the day, we will still remain sinners before God. And this is where we trust in God's mercy. At the end of the day, what is most important is our faith in God. Do we have enough faith in Jesus to surrender ourselves to trust Him? So the greatest sin is not actually our weakness. The greatest sin is the lack of faith. That is the greatest sin. So if we have faith in God, we will continue to struggle. If we have faith in God, we will continue to know that God is all merciful and that we will never give up struggling. And so long as we never give up, God is on our side. Don't ever give up. So that's why we keep on fighting. But the moment when we lack faith in Jesus, the moment we lack faith in God, then we will give up easily. And so long as we keep struggling, let us remember the grace of God is with us. In fact, if you are struggling, it means that God is on your side, that grace is still with you. The moment you stop struggling, then you will not be able to see God and therefore you will ultimately destroy yourself.